act of playing the game, standing on stage, you know, buzzing in and uh, and looking at the clues and trying to figure out what's going on was, uh, of course, this is the thing you're trying to prepare yourself for, but that was just the most fun I've had in a long time. Very intense, but in a good way. Uh, it helped that I was playing with people I really liked. The other professors were uh, uniformly uh, pleasant and funny and smart and uh, uh, along for the riot as I was. So I, I would say that was my um, uh, my favorite part of the experience. Th there's weirdness that's happened to me, but uh, you know I'm grateful for this opportunity to have been part of this thing. Obviously, it would have been fun to play, and I suspect I would have been happy if I'd gotten to play and hadn't done well. But it's it's better to play and win, and uh, so I'm happy about that. Um, there is a subculture, if you will, of Jeopardy fans who take it very seriously. There are a lot of people who want to talk about Jeopardy. And if I've made their days happier, you know, at no cost to myself, I can do that. So I like Steve Martin. I've admired his work. He's he's kind of a genius. You know, in addition to being the 1980s funny guy, he's written serious books. He's obviously, uh, we all know he's a talented musician. So on the one hand, it's great to be compared to him. On the other hand, nobody compares me to him by saying, wow, Sam, you're such a great musician and you're so hilarious and you're a great writer. They're really just saying, look, you're an old white guy with gray hair and glasses. It's fun. You know, I, I, uh, it, it's hard to not like that. People are excited. Today. A big part of Jeopardy comes down to things that you, you kind of just have to have run into in life. Uh, when I was first selected to be in the tournament, I thought, well, operations research uh, ought to have provided me with a good uh, springboard. And the reason I think that, or at least thought that, is that I, I feel that operations research more than maybe some other subjects is inherently a sort of interdisciplinary, or at least uh, in statistics. I'm a statistician uh, within an OR department. And uh, when you're a statistician, you're always dealing with data, data that comes from some other field, which might be physical or engineering sciences, but it might be uh, information about people. I do a lot of work on naval manpower, but it could also be from, uh, from the, liber the world of liberal arts. You know. Uh, whatever the data is, that's what we look at. And in order to understand the data and how to analyze it, you have to know at least a little bit about the underlying problem. So I've been lucky that I've been able to learn a little bit about lots of different um, schools of thought and uh, points of inquiry. Uh, and, and so I guess I felt that operations research uh, allowed me to see a broad range of things, any of which might have come up in Jeopardy. Uh, statisticians came weirdly late to the world of machine learning, and I, I hope we're now embracing that. Uh, and I, I think machine learning belongs naturally in the uh, OR and statistical fields. We, um, we have the experience in dealing with data and trying to figure out answers. AI is simply a real-time machine learning. So uh, we build our machine learning models, and then we allow them to uh, modify themselves in real time according to changes in data. Uh, so that also feels as if it belongs, at least partly, in OR's arena. Um, I, there are a lot of different initiatives around the Department of Defense to work AI into day-to-day -day operations. But I, I do think while there's lots of progress yet to be made, we also need to be uh, careful that the DOD gets what it what it wants. So simply blindly putting your faith in the algorithm has never been a good move. And as the algorithms get more complicated, that approach gets more tempting. Th these sorts of problems are, are a source of fascination. We haven't uh, cracked it quite yet, but we've, you know, we've been feeding manpower information to the service. I say we, meaning NPS generally, and, and my group as well, uh, feeding information to DOD for some time. And hopefully we can make these processes um, more efficient. So the original focus of statisticians was answering questions like, is what we're seeing a consequence of natural variability or is it something else? The new focus of statisticians, of course, is huge data sets in which uh, we might not even know what we're looking for when we go in. So that's, uh, the field has taken an exciting turn and I'm, I'm happy to be there with it. Over. <laughs>